Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today I'm going to be sharing five tips for making easy money in your first year of Coral Island. To be clear, this video isn't going to tell you how to turn your farm into a money-making machine, but it is going to help you figure out some simple ways to earn really good money without neglecting the rest of the game. I hope you'll find this helpful, so without any further ado, let's get into it. No surprise, the first tip I will be giving you is to forage. This is an activity you can do no matter what, in any season, at any town rank, from day one. And the best part about foraging is that you can do it as you roam around the island to complete other tasks and in between having conversations with islanders. You really can't go wrong. I would also recommend upgrading your bag as much as you can at Sam's. It does cost money, but it is an investment, so you can gather more items while you're out and about, and therefore make more money. Definitely collect as many forageables as you can, but if you have to make any sacrifices on your journeys, the following is a list of scavengeables that you should definitely bring home with you and their sell prices. Year round, you have a chance to find ginseng, which is worth 90 coins, so definitely collect it if you see it. The best scavengeables you can find on the beach are the purple cowrie shell, which sells for 40 coins, and the flame scallop, which sells for 45 coins. Also, don't forget, you can scavenge while you're diving, and it's definitely worth it. In early game, you will be diving in the shallow depths, so keep your eyes peeled for sea mushrooms at 40 coins, Mediterranean scallops at 50 coins, and black sea urchins at 60 coins. Once you unlock deeper depths, you will also unlock a ton of new sea scavengeables, most of which will sell for between 45 and 90 coins apiece, so definitely don't leave these behind. There are also seasonal scavengeables, so in the spring, keep your eyes peeled for morel mushrooms at 45 coins, shiitake mushrooms at 50 coins, wasabi at 60 coins, and the rare cherries at 75 coins. In the summer, the most valuable scavengeables are white hibiscus at 40 coins and watercress at 50 coins. In the fall, the most valuable are figs and black trumpets at 45 coins each, chestnuts at 50 coins, matsutake at 80 coins, and the rare titan arum flowers at 500 coins. But put a pause on that. We're gonna circle back to it. I will say now, do not sell these flowers up front. In the winter, the most valuable scavengeables are tea berries at 40 coins, black beauty eggplants at 45 coins, and once again, a rare flower, the Rothlesia, at 500 coins. So what does all this talk about rare flowers? At 500 coins apiece, shouldn't I sell these? My answer is definitely not. Which brings us to my second tip for making money, which is to save your Titan Arum and Rafflesia flowers, available in the fall and winter respectively, and turn them into honey. It's very simple to do this, but you will first need to unlock the bee house, which is a craftable item. Again, this is easy to do. You just need to level up your bug catching skills to level two by catching bugs. Once you've crafted your first bee house, and I would recommend making a few of these since each flower will take three days to process, you're going to deposit these two flower types into the bee houses. And in three days, your 500 coins of profit is going to turn into 3,000. This is a must. Keep in mind the flowers are rare, so check around for them in the forest area specifically every day of fall and winter if you can to maximize your chances to find them and make some serious coin. The third tip is to make sure you shake every coconut tree you pass within each season. Yes, there are seasonal coconuts available for free around the island, and I will let you know it is definitely worth it to collect and sell these. You can easily make a couple thousand coins in one day from shaking trees, you guys. It is free money. In the spring, you can find regular coconuts starting on day 15 that sell for 45 coins apiece. In the summer, you can find coral tall coconuts beginning on the 12th, selling for 35 coins apiece. In the fall, you can find Makapuno coconuts from the 19th onward, which sell for 75 coins apiece. And in the winter, you can find the coconut de mer starting on day 15, selling for 150 coins per coconut. 
Even the lower value coconuts in the spring and summer really add up because they're more common to find in comparison to the winter coconuts, for example, which are more rare. So gather as many coconuts as you can find around the island in every season and sell them. Tip number four is to make sure you're completing those lab upgrades. This is another easy investment that is definitely worth your while to help you make more money without really doing anything. I would suggest upgrading your seed quality first, followed by the animal feed once you have animals on your farm. To complete these upgrades, you will need to go diving and collect bronze kelp, which you will then process in your kelp extractor before turning it into the lab alongside some coins. This is a permanent upgrade, so once you've done this, all of your future crops and animal products will have a higher chance of being higher quality and will therefore sell for more money. Even if you're processing your produce, for example, turning strawberries into jam, the quality translates over to the artisan products. So if you grow a bronze star strawberry, you're going to get bronze star jam. Your silver star quality milk will become silver star quality yogurt, so on and so forth. Once you're further in game and have unlocked deeper diving depths, I would definitely suggest completing the level two lab upgrades as well when you have access to silver kelp. This isn't the first time I've talked about lab upgrades on the channel and it's for a good reason. Reason. These are awesome and super helpful, so definitely don't miss them. And the fifth and final tip for making easy money in Coral Island is by selling duplicate gems and artifacts. You can find some gems simply by mining gem nodes in the caverns, but I personally find most gems myself through opening geodes found in the mines at the blacksmiths. I've also had really good luck finding coffers when clearing trash on land or underwater. They can also be found in dig spots, and when you open them, there's a chance that you'll find a valuable artifact. Now, I definitely recommend donating the first of each new item you find to the museum so you can increase your town rank and ultimately complete your collection. However, definitely don't hesitate to sell any duplicates. You can make anywhere from 100 to 700 coins on selling some of these items, so even taking into account the upfront cost of 20 coins to open the geodes and coffers, as well as the chance of obtaining trash or crafting resources, it's still more than worth your while. You can even redeem mining points on the skill tree for double gems, and diving points for double artifacts, which will increase your chances to get double of each of these items when carrying out the respective activities. Of course, mileage may vary on this one because it is always a random chance as to how many geodes and coffers you'll find in the first place along with what you will receive within them. But again, I've had a lot of success with this and it's super easy to incorporate into your existing gameplay routine, so it doesn't hurt to try. Well, there you have it friends, those are 5 easy ways to make money on Coral Island within your first year of gameplay. Remember that Coral Island is still in early access, so everything is technically subject to change. And even further, please note that these tips are all based on nothing other than my own personal experience and almost 200 hours of playing Coral Island. I will share more complex money making tips in the future, but this is just to get you started while you're also enjoying the rest of the game. What I would I'd love to hear from you is your experience with these specific tips, whether this video helped you earn any money, and how you're enjoying this amazing game so far. As always, I love hearing from you in the comments, and with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Mandy, Meredith, Formotus, Tansy, Cisco, Tyr, Quinn, Sky, Whale, Cheese, Coons, Divine Raven, Lex, and Magic, my Sunstone members. I love you all and thank you so so much for your support. It really helps to make all of this possible and means the world to me.